commerce and industry was established in 1903, just after the Anglo-Boer War and um, by business people within the area. So our chamber is actually 110 years old. Steve Tweety municipality um, is a large municipal area, but the Middleburg town specifically is a small town within a large rural area. But we're also positioned in the middle of um, large coal fields. So we are spoiled for choice. We have got a very large uh, coal mining sector. We have got three power stations within the municipal area. We've got the largest stainless steel manufacturer in the southern hemisphere in our town. We've got large commercial agricultural farmers and then we've got the supporting businesses. If you look at Middleburg as a city, we are surrounded by the highest concentration of power stations in the world. South Africa has 13 power stations. Our province has 11 of those 13 power stations. So we are in fact the power generating hub of the country. In addition to power generation, we have a large concentration of mining companies and manufacturing companies, as well as a very active industrial and agricultural sector. So our interaction across a wide range of, of, of industries and sectors of the economy, uh, I think we're a good barometer of how the country can be, from what it is to what it can be. The, we have huge challenges, we have huge, and I think we need to be realistic about the challenges, and part of the challenge is uh, providing the correct career guidance. We have a huge gap in mathematics and science and one of the projects that we've done is the Career Expo for the Youth. That's just one of the projects that we do where we have provided a platform for people to realize what their potential can be. Improving the Business and Investment Climate Study was conducted in 2007 together with the German Development Corporation, Steve Tweety Local Municipality and the Middlebeck Chamber of Commerce and Industry. One of the main concerns highlighted was the skill shortage in the Steve Tweety Local Municipal Area, with specific focus on technical skills. Middlebeck Chamber of Commerce and Industry and Steve Tweety Local Municipality decided as a Chamber initiative to create a platform for learners and corporate companies to network and link with career opportunities. For the Chamber, it was important to develop our youth and keep the learners here in our area. Also, a concern for big business was to recruit from other areas because locally we couldn't fill the positions. For Steve Tweety Local Municipality, it was important to address the high youth unemployment rate and to develop the local economy. So, the birth of the Career Expo. Corporate companies exhibit their career opportunities, vacancies, bursaries, learnership and apprenticeship opportunities, provide career guidance and explain processes on how to work or apply for work at specific corporate company. Expose the learners to come and access these opportunities. Thus, linking youth learners and big business and all other government and provincial departments and try to establish a balance between the demand and the supply of skills. Middlebeck Chamber of Commerce and Industry and Steve Tweety Local Municipality are the proud partners of this annual Career Expo, supporting partners Department of Education and Nkungala FET College. The first Career Expo was held in 2009 and is now an annual event scheduled in the Department of Education's calendar. The expo happens in the first quarter of the year, usually in January or February, to allow students to access and apply for bursary learnership opportunities, which usually closes end of May. The event is hosted in Middleburg, Mpumalanga, and is free for all learners. The successes of the Career Expo 5,000 learners walk through the doors of the Career Expo, 2,500 Grade 9 assessments, 2,500 Grade 12 received career guidance. Learners are more motivated. Learners are focused. Greater school attendance. Learners understand the importance of math and science at school level. Learners can study locally while supporting their families and corporate companies recruit local. Inside the Career Expo, we have three categories. There are sponsors, exhibitors and schools. Sponsors, 
Steve Tretelaco Municipality is responsible for transport of learners and venue cost of the expo. Main sponsors cover all other related costs. Exhibitors Private and public sector, tertiary institutions, government and provincial departments, human resources and training departments are invited to exhibit at the expo. Meet face to face with learner and therefore there is no need for companies to visit schools individually. Schools 27 schools were invited to a focus on grade 9s and grade 12s. For the grade 9s, we have assessments and motivational science experiment to excite learners to take science. Grade 12s, career guidance and science experiments which is covered in the curriculum. The basic proceedings for the day was that uh, four schools were invited in a two-hour slot where they arrived at the banquet hall at the back entrance of the hall where the learners were separated from the grade nines to the left entrance and the grade twelves at the right entrance. The grade nines then proceeded through the back of the hall upstairs into our assessment area where we set up 300 chairs with tables where they were um, seated and the Columbus, our sponsor, did the assessments for them in terms of exactly where they are and how they should choose subjects moving forward depending on the careers that they would choose, also dependent on the personalities in which they would fall under. The success rate of the assessment test was excellent because it's immediate. So the children, the learners fill in the, um, they do the questionnaire and after they fill out the, like the multiple choice answers, when they leave that assessment after one hour, they get their answers. So they then leave and proceed downstairs to the bottom section where the exhibitors are and they then have the opportunity to go to each exhibitor's stand and get more information on a, of exactly what the companies have to offer in terms of careers, bursary opportunities, um, job opportunities, um, getting to know what companies are doing in terms of local development as well. Young people in particular must take advantage you know, of this positive environment that we are creating. What they must do, they must make sure that they, they take relevant careers uh, which will be a demand in a job market so that at the end of the day we cannot always produce job seekers but we must produce uh, job creators. The career experts come over a couple of years born out of a need of trying to get local people employed. Most of them had the wrong skills and after having a procurement forum and working with big corporates deciding on how to go forward to eliminate our unemployment rate, it was decided that the, their query was that our people here don't have the relevant skills for the jobs that are in the market currently. And that is where the Career Expo then also started from, was to say, let us start and show our learners what is out there. Also, we don't really have the career guidance anymore in all the schools like it used to be many, many years ago. But that, again, puts your learners in the kind of a jeopardized position because they don't really know what is out there. So the Career Expo gives everybody an opportunity. It gives the, the, the grade nine learners an opportunity to write an aptitude test, to determine what are the relevant subjects that they need to look at. And at the same time, it is giving your matriculants and your, your grade 11s an opportunity to speak to the businesses and the corporates that's out there, to also have a look at bursary possibilities that is out there, and that they can see that they need to go and study in the kind of direction where there are job opportunities within our local municipal area. You have to encapsulate what we achieve in one word, we add value. We unlock value, and when we give people wings to fly, we pull up a whole generation of people beneath them. And I think that's our biggest strength. I am Lebrahan Sikwati, and I'm from Still Crest High School. I found this experiment very, very interesting. And I've always wanted to go into endocrinology, but now I'm thinking chemistry, although endocrinology is chemical coordination. I'm thinking of going more into the lab part of things because what she did really captured my attention. I would like to think that our speciality is to add value, to unlock value, uh, to take a good organization and make it a great organization. 
what we do, I think one of the strengths of the chamber is we listen to what is being asked by the community and we address it that way. It is a great privilege for our chamber in South Africa to be nominated in the ICC World Chamber Competition category Best Youth Entrepreneurship. It was important for the Chamber to expose the local youth to career opportunities available in our area. The impact of the Career Expo project in our community is far greater than anyone can ever imagine. A Chamber initiative to address the skill shortage, focus on education and to address the youth unemployment concern. With utmost passion, motivation and dedication, anyone can make a difference. With private and public sector working together, it shows what can be done. This Career Expo is a great example for addressing skills shortage. It's easy to implement and can be duplicated in all other countries or areas where there is such a need. Our goal is to ignite the flame of hope burning all over the world.